Hi there, traders. This is Brad Gilbert with the FX Market Insight for Monday, the 11th of March. All right, it's coming a little bit later than usual with the uh, team in London this week. But uh, as we just come into the uh, European session now, there's we've got a huge week coming up with uh, a lot of major US data. So we've got a, we've got a pretty exciting week. Of course, Brexit will be back in the spotlight again. There's a few votes this week. Uh, so uh, Sterling will be at it once again. Now, just to start with, just having a look at the... Um, What's really going on? So the markets at the moment still pretty good trending markets. Now, US non-farm payrolls, the non-farm payroll change itself missed the mark big time. But the but the uh, average earnings was higher. The unemployment rate was lower. So there's a lot of positive stuff here. The US dollar didn't take a slight pause, but it overall the US dollar is still going up. Okay, and also you know a little bit of a strange one. We had some uh, upbeat Canadian uh, employment numbers. It dropped off initially, it's, it's still in a little bit of an uptrend there as well. So looking at the key uh, major technical outlook for most of these pairs and running from last week, Euro, uh, Sterling and Aussie still in a sort of downward trending market. So we've got some good opportunities here across the board. Now matching those up with the, te the fundamental side, Euro obviously uh, going down technically, going down sort of fundamentally. Aussie, not as aggressive on the uh, fundamental side, but the RBA has signaled they are very concerned about the market. So there's that bearish outlook. So Aussie and uh, Euros, to me, still the standout pairs. Uh, core market drivers, as I mentioned, the uh, Brexit's going to be a key feature. We are getting closer to a US-China, some sort of deal or no deal, and that's going to be very important for the Aussie and Kiwi. So a bad outcome there is going to be bad for China and also bad for Australia and New Zealand. So make sure you keep an eye on that. Now, just coming back to um, where the action is going to be like over the next sort of 24 hours, I guess, is looking at uh, the data here. We've got, uh, it's not every, every, every week we get uh, really big numbers, US numbers on a Monday. Now, this is going to give the, potentially give the market real good direction starting the week on the US dollar side. So don't forget, the, the non-farm payrolls did miss the number just a touch, but um, we do have a situation where, um, you know, there's still, the, the market's waiting for that next bit of data, and the best thing is we get it today. All right, so looking at uh, today's trading, looking at the major pairs, just to me, there's, um, you know, the Aussie, uh, Euro, well, sterling to a less point because it's we still got Brexit. That, that, that could go anywhere. But these pairs that have been sort of trending down now. The recent move here on Friday, the Aussie is sort of stalled. There's there's no sort of resistance around the moment. It's a little bit fickle. Uh, 70, 60 looks like a bit of a top at this stage, but there's no trend lines there, whereas Euro has got the best shape. Yeah, it's got this trend line to break down through sort of 112.55 uh, last Thursday, and now it's sort of coming back to test that 112.50 to 80 level. That's to me, a very good level to be getting short uh, euro. Um, the other pairs, well, you know what, the Kiwi, it's back in the middle of the range. It could go up or down. Uh, dollar yen, it's just been drifting lower. Uh, once again, these US numbers could uh, push that uh, pair around as well. Uh, dollar CAD, I'd say wicked US numbers, we might finally see a bit of a clean out on the downside. This goes with those stronger Canadian employment numbers, which were somewhat um, pushed aside by um, the um, you know, the US non-farm payrolls, which dominates that situation. So there we are at the moment. The uh, As I said, the key pairs, to me, Euro, definitely the best trading pair because we got that fresh bearish sentiment from the ECB. Uh, to me, Aussie also fits in that basket with the Kiwi. You know what? It's actually sort of drift, drifted out of that nice sort of trading setup. Um, dollar yen, we've got some uh, support resistance here, but it's not exactly setting the world on fire. So just be aware of that. So going into today's trading with the, with the US retail sales, uh, definitely I'll be watching very closely the Aussie and Euro. As I said, this is a chance for the US dollar to give uh, the currencies very clear direction to start the week. And that's what we're always waiting for. But uh, Monday, it's going to deliver. All right, guys, that's it from me. Uh, you'll see some more updates coming along. We'll probably do most of the updates uh, Probably at the start of the European session this, this week, as I said, with, uh, with the team being in London. All right, guys, that's it from me. Have a good trade day. We'll see you in the 247 trade zone. Cheerio.